as Iran's foreign minister, Manoushe Mataki, will lead negotiations over his country's nuclear program. Those discussions with the UN Security Council and Germany, the so-called six-party talks, come amid more conciliatory language emanating from Washington. Euronews asked Mataki for the Iranian point of view. <laughs> Manoushe Mataki, Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Iran, welcome to Euronews. Iran is ready to resume the six-party talks. What Iran is ready to offer? Thank you very much. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful, Iran is going to up-to-date its previous package, which we have offered last year. Since last year, world faced with the, uh, several developments, the, the uh, monetary and economic crisis in the world, as well as uh, changes in some administrations. And uh, you can mention the American one. <laughs> and uh, uh, that's why it was necessary to have a review to our previous package and prepare the new one. The m most important issue that uh, uh, is on the table is the nuclear issue. Uh, are you going to offer something new on We that? do believe that the right of Iran is not a matter of a deal. The right of the nations to have nuclear energy is a right for, for all, all the parties in the world, all the member states of the United uh, Nations. Our slogan in this regard is very clear. It's nuclear, nuclear energy for everybody and nuclear weapons for nobody. As currently there are countries that have nuclear weapons, do you think that to have nuclear weapons is the right of other countries that don't have? The head of one of these countries which you are talking about is a country which have the largest scale of such weapons. Fortunately, we could receive a new position, which is quite new since 1945, after the Second World War finished. Hmm? We should help this country to continue its stand on this very, very acceptable position. Do you think that uh, the speeches made by President Ahmadinejad, for instance, are useful uh, in a world where also Iran is trying to negotiate and to be more open, uh, especially, as you said, with the new American administration that uh, seems to be open, more open than the previous ones vis-a-vis -vis your country. Um, to, to you you, 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 you are see. trying diplomatically to make some link between these two questions. It is not necessary. Even nowadays, in the United States, some different groups are taking this position that why we should link all our interests, I mean the American interests, to the interest of Israel. Isn't, isn't this kind of rhetoric useful for uh, rushing with force into the new negotiations that uh, uh, are being undertaken by the US administration, the Obama administration, in the Middle East? We should find the root cause of the crisis in the region. And that is the legit, legi, uh, legitimacy of this regime in the region. How it is established? The land was not without people. Because the Palestinian, Muslim, Christian, and Jewish were living there. And these people in Europe were not the people without land. They were the citizens of European countries, in different European countries. They were living here. Your talk 
is simply a sort of racist talk about another country, another population who is living in that region, Israel. What do you think about it? This is the wrong literature from the Durban 2 <laughs> meeting. Okay, go ahead. No, no, it was a question. <laughs> what, 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 what do you answer to that? Don't you think that your talk is racist as well? Definitely not. Why? <laughs> Why? You're talking about a problem, a crisis, which is a reality in our region. And nobody could solve this, this problem. We are explaining why they could not solve this problem. We are not a part of the problem. <laughs> we, in our region, always have been a part of solution. According to Iraq, according to Lebanon, according to Afghanistan. So you can offer your cooperation for resolving the problems in Iraq, in, uh, in Afghanistan? We have some responsibility in that region. Since last six, seven years, we have been an important part of supporting for political development in Iraq, institutionalization of different parts of the body of the government in Iraq, parliament and everything, be supported. This process. What do you think about the policy of a stick and carrot of uh, the United States? Uh, because uh, on one hand, they are negotiating, they are ready to negotiate uh, with Iran. On the other hand, uh, Secretary of State uh, Hillary Clinton said that they are preparing, just in case, very tough sanctions against Iran on the nuclear issue again. Policies which have experienced without any result in the past that uh, should bring to the mind of different parties to think and to establish new policies. Wouldn't be a problem for Iran an embargo on the petrol coming from the West? If they are ready to decide, then they will see our reaction. Don't worry about that. What kind of reaction? We will, con we are, we will consider if they go to decide in such uh, decision. Thank you very much, Minister. I thank you. I thank you.